In Capoeira, we have strategy. It doesn't look like. It looks like it's a bunch of kicks, a bunch of physical condition. But have strategy, and that's where strategy work all the time. Um, a lot of masters in my life, I heard to say, oh, Capoeira is like a chess, you know, and say, oh, okay. And I tried to figure out how the chess works, I, but I never really got it. I answer how chess like what? What parts Capoeira like a chess? I don't see any chess here. It took me like a while and make that connection. And today I, I, I kind of I kind of figured that out in some ways how that work. Um, for example, you in the game is not about what I'm doing right now. It's not about my reflex. It's about I prepare for the next step. That's the point when it looks like a chess. That's the point when you see the chess coming because I want to play with you. It's much easier, for example, I'm playing with you and you do a very fast kick and I go in a very fast kick and you get a very fast bundle. But that was reflex. And that's how the time settle. You do that for a while and sometimes you can get some people really fast, but if the guy is really good and fast, that bundle not gonna work anymore. A certain level in capoeira, that kind of bundle doesn't work anymore. That kind of takedown doesn't work anymore. And that's the moment where you just gonna get this takedown when you prepare the situation. And then the prepare situation is like, you didn't give the kick yet, but I'm gonna make you do the kick. I'm gonna make you make a move. When you make the move, and then I'm waiting for a move. That's making my life easy. That's what we're looking for. That's the great capital, that's what they do. That's when you see a higher belt play with a beginner, when you see two higher, players, higher belts playing together, that's what they're looking for all the time. It's like, make you do what I want, control the game. As long as, long as, as, long as I control the game, I make, I make you to do what I'm looking for, and then I'm ready here waiting for you the next step. And then I demand that we work. Anybody. That's what Masters does. You know, and you say, oh, but have some age, he doesn't do anymore. And he still get the bundle right there at the right time. You know why? Because he make me do this movement. He prepared her before. Usually, beginners have a very hard time to prepare the movements, to prepare the next step. They think about what's going on right now. That's a little bit of strategy. Um, I'm gonna make an example with this strategy to see just how I work. I'm gonna give you one principle and I really like this principle a lot. And um, uh, Birk can we come here and recruit, um, uh, come over here. Vamos lá, Jinga. Okay, we play in a circle. We play in a roda. Roda is a circle. And do you see, he has right now 50% and he has 50%. They are very comfortable with this game. But if you go a little bit forward, a little bit forward, that's good. He started getting uncomfortable with that because he don't have where to move. And here, freeze. Actually, you can step here on the side. Here, I have control about this game. Why? Because if he move in that direction, go. Ah, I'm very easy to cover him. If you move in that direction, I'm very easy to cover him. It's very easy for me because I have have um, uh, control of the space. And this is making him uncomfortable. He's looking for what? Space. And what his first thought about getting space? How are you gonna make, get space right now? You have to create space here. How are you gonna create? What's the easy way to create space? Straight kick. You're gonna give him a Benson. Give a Benson. Whoa. And then he create the space. That's a normal reaction, Jinga. And then I'm here, we have 50%. And then I'm going there. And then as soon as I start going inside, he's gonna go and create space. Then I, and then he got space back. Easy. But when he does that, he does what I'm looking for. I make him give the pencil. And that is the, that's a very, very basic strategy. But it works all the time. Because all the time when I play with you guys, it's like, for example, if your Benson is really fast, go give a Benson. I'm not going to be able to give a Banda. It's very hard for me. Because it's fast. I don't have the speed. Oh, you have the space, nice space. But as soon as I pressure him, 
I go close. He's gonna give me the bun. He's gonna give me the, the benson. One, two, and then make it much easier for me. Because I know it's gonna happen. I just have to pressure and wait. Because he's gonna look for that. Of course, Capoeira have many different kinds of strategies. You can sit down now, thank you. Capoeira have many different kinds of strategies. That's one strategy, that's one basic strategy. You know, but from that one, you can understand how that works. I can put pieces, I can put kicks, I can put movements, and put all those together. 